Hi. 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 Miss Mustin. You're muted. Miss Mustin. Give me just one second, sweetheart. I'm trying to fix a weird echo. Okay. Wait, what? Hi, Juju. Jacob. Yeah? Guess what? You don't carry help. You <laughs> said it'd be funny. Well, guess what? I have a jet hot wheel. This is my jet hot wheel. Cool. I also have a Bugatti hot wheel. Jacob. I have a Bugatti hot wheel. Hold on. Jacob. I'm Jacob. This is it. Say, say hi, guys. My name is Ryder. Hi, guys. My name is Ryder. Hi, Ryder. And now I'm on. Now I'm muted again. Go ahead and stay on mute, everybody. We're going to start the rest of our morning here. I had two weird windows open, so I kept hi. putting myself in double. It was kind of crazy. I'm Olivia. Yep, stay on mute, okay, Olivia? We're gonna start the rest of our day. All right, here is our story for this morning. It's called, Look Out Kindergarten, Here I Come. Carlson. Hey guys, and welcome to Polka Dot Tots. Today's book is, Look Out Kindergarten, Here I Come, by Nancy Carlson. Look Out Kindergarten, Here I Come, by Nancy Carlson. Wake up, dear, said Henry's mom. It's the first day of kindergarten. Oh boy, let's go, said Henry. He had been getting ready for this day all year. Not so fast, said his mom. First, you need to wash up and get dressed. So Henry brushed his teeth the way the dentist had shown him and washed behind his ears. Then he buttoned his shirt and snapped his jeans and almost tied his shoes. Okay. I'm all ready for kindergarten, said Henry. Not so fast, said his mom. First, you need a good breakfast. So Henry ate three pancakes and a bowl of fruit and drank a big glass of milk. Now I'm ready to go, said Henry. Not so fast, said his mom. You still need to pack up your supplies. So Henry packed pencils, scissors, crayons, paper, glue, an apple, and a photo of his mom and dad in case he got lonely. Now I'm ready, said Henry. What do you think we'll do first, asked Henry. Do you think we'll paint? Sure you will, said his mom, just like at home. Good, said Henry. What else will we do? You'll probably learn your ABCs, said his mom. Hey, I already know the letters in my name, said Henry. What will we do after that? You'll sing songs and play games. And you might practice counting, said his mom. One, two, three flowers, said Henry. I can count to 10 because we practiced counting with buttons. What comes next? You'll make fun things in arts and crafts, and you'll read stories. But I can't read, said Henry. That's okay, said his mom. You'll start by listening. Reading comes later. Here we are, said Henry's mom. 
It's so big, said Henry. What if I get lost? Remember, we found your room and your cubby at kindergarten roundup, said his mom. But you can always ask a teacher for help. When Henry got to his room and saw lots of new faces, he said, I want to go home. Why don't you come in and look around, said his teacher, Miss Bradley. So Henry looked around. He saw the art corner. He saw letters and numbers that he knew. He saw a bookcase full of books and he met a new friend to play with. Well, what do you think? asked Henry's mom. I think I might stay for a while, mom, said Henry. Because kindergarten is going to be fun. The end. I hope that you guys also think that kindergarten is fun. So yesterday we did uh, some shared writing where two friends shared with me some things and I wrote it on the big chart paper, okay? Now, I would like to call two different people today who can tell me something that they like about kindergarten, okay? Fatima, can you tell me one thing that you like about school so far? Fatima, what do you like so far? I like Miss Martin. Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. So, Fatima, what letter does Fatima's name start with? F. F, right. Fatima likes, ooh, what letter is that? L. This is a little more difficult without my big chart paper that I have on my rolly cart. Oops, I'm running out of room. Does anybody know where I go next? We call it return sweep and I come all the way back over here to finish Mustin. And I put my period at the end of my sentence. Fatima likes Mrs. Mustin. Who has another sentence they want to share? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Mustafa, what do you like about kindergarten? Something different than this. What do you like, Mustafa? Can you unmute? What do you like about school so far? Let's see if he's can unmute. Painting. You like painting? Yeah, painting at school is fun, isn't it? So I'm gonna write down here, Mustafa. What what letter is this, everybody? M. M, right. And in our story, Katie liked painting too, didn't she? I'm just gonna turn it like this for a second. So my writing is neat. Mustafa likes painting. I'm gonna hold it back up. You can unmute and we're gonna read our stories together. <clears throat> we're gonna read our we writing. Everybody right. unmute. Yeah. And I'm gonna point and you're gonna read with me. Ready? Here we go. Fatima likes Mrs. Mustin. Mustafa likes painting. Very good. All right, you're gonna take out now your black and white book. Remember the Dalmatian book? It looks like this. Yeah. Well, hi. Get out your we did some writing like this last time. Mm 
Mom, where is my um, first book? That should be the black and white book like this. And you should have out a pencil. This one right here. This one. Okay. Then we're going to turn the book this way, just like we did last time. And when you open it, you'll see your writing that you did yesterday. What you're going to do is you are going to turn this page up one more page. Okay, yours won't show the back through because I had to use that marker. Okay. Yeah, this is a little tricky. We are again going to put the date at the top. So let me put this on here for you. So on the top of your page here, please write today's date code 9-10-20. I have it right here. You can copy it right in your book. Go ahead and write it right on there, 9-10-20. Sarah, are you writing in your book? Do you have your black book out? Start at the beginning. Okay. Just show me a thumbs up when you're ready. You don't need to turn your book for this. You can just show me a thumbs up. You have the date code, okay? Okay, if you're saying thumbs down, I want you to write it in your book, okay? No thumbs down. My hand got up. Okay, thank you. I see your thumbs up, Madison. Thank you. Okay. Then, underneath here, Underneath the date code, I want you to draw a picture of you doing something that you like at school. Now, that's kind of tricky because we're not at school right now, are we? Okay. But you can think about if you went to preschool, what's something you liked to do there? Or what's something you've liked that we've done so far? Do you like drawing pictures? Do you like writing your name? Do you like reading books? Who wants to tell me and use the sentence stem, I like, and then tell me what you like? see some hands going up in the air. Liliana, do you want to unmute and say, I like, and then tell me what you like. Looks like she's going to get some help with the mute and unmute. One second. Oh, we'll come back to her. It looks like we're having some mute problem. Jay, do you want to, uh, can you start with the words I like and tell me what you like so far about school? Let's unmute you. I like recess. Oh, I also like recess. Same. Like, you get to play with friends, but you can't play with friends because of the corona. Yeah, it's a little tough, isn't it? So you're going to draw a picture of you at recess with your friends. Olivia, what do you like? I like having snacks. Oh, I like snack also. So Olivia's going to draw herself having snack. Ryder, what do you like? Um, I, I like painting. Oh, yes. I also like painting. Uh, Leia, what do you like? Hey, Mom. Leia, what do you like about school? I like to play with my friends at recess. I know. Isn't it fun? It's so fun. So you draw a picture of something you like to do either at school when you were at school last year or something that we've done maybe so far in class. Okay, so draw a picture of you like books, draw a picture of you with some books. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put everybody on mute while we're working. And you draw your picture. Mom. 
Mrs. Mustin. Yes, dear. Do we need our crayons to color ourselves in? Uh, no, today we're just going to draw with pencil. So no, you don't need crayons. Good question. We're just going to do a quick pencil drawing. Baby mama's on a meeting. Oops. Miss Mustang. Uh huh. Um, I'm going on a roller coaster. Oh. Well, it's eleven o'clock. It's eleven o'clock. Okay, go back into your eleven o five. All right, so I just drew just a real quick picture of me with Pete the Cat and a Pete the Cat book. So my story would say, I like reading or I like books. Okay, I'll give you another minute or so to just work on a quick picture. just work on your picture drawing something you like to do at school some of you will have recess stuff some of you will have snacks like you shared with us when you're finished with your picture you can hold it up so i can see it oh yep there's madison's picture thank you yeah there's ollie's picture thank you And writer's picture, thank you. Olivia's picture, thank you. Tony's picture, thank you. Okay, do you have independent work to do? Okay. Very nice. Now, just for fun today, you're going to write here on the bottom and you're going to start that sentence some with I like. Okay, I'll show you how to do I like. And then you're going to just try and write the word yourself. Try and write books if you have books. Try and write recess if you have recess. It doesn't have to be spelled perfectly because we don't really uh, need to do that in kindergarten. I want you to just stretch and, and write what you hear. Maybe you just hear a bunch of different letters. That's fine. Okay, so here's how you write I like. Um, I bet a lot of you Mustang? can write I. So start here on the left. I like. And then you write what you like with a period at the end. Miss Mustin. Oops, my eyes looking kind of funky there. Miss Mustin. Yes. I miss my friends. Oh, I miss seeing friends too. All right, here's I and like. Go ahead and put that on the bottom part of yours. <clears throat> if you were writing recess, what letter says recess? R. R, right. So you might write I like, and if you heard the letter R, you might just put an R. That's great work. What if you wrote snack? S. S. Good job, Leah. You might write I like, and then if you hear just the letter S, you might write letter S. I already know how to write I like. Mine things. says books. So what are you hearing? B -b books. B. B. Right. One of our letters. So I might write my letter B here. Okay. Here's I and like. I already know how to write I like from Miss Rustling. Oh my gosh! Such a fabulous teacher you had last year. I like, and then you fill in the blank. Nope, he's on a meet. Hey, he's on a meet. There's Iron Man. I know there's two. Four drops to the Good job, Ali. 
You're writing, I like, and then try to write whatever picture you have here, okay? Whatever letters you hear. Very nice job. Oh, there's Jacobs. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you, Leah. Okay. Yeah, I'll give you just another couple minutes to finish that. Mr. Mustard, uh -huh. I'm going wrong way the paper. Is that okay? That's okay. Next time, we'll just turn the paper the other way, okay? Oh, there's Leah's. Oh, thank you, Leah. I love your picture. You guys are doing a great job. I went and got a little help. Thank you, Ryder. Thank you, Mustafa. Nice work. I went and got a little help for my mom. That's okay. We can do that. Thank you, Lydia. Thank you, Maya. A. Thank you, Jay. Remember, boys and girls, you're just writing the sounds Mrs. that you Mustang. hear. We do not have to have the words spelled perfectly. Mrs. Write Mustang. any letters that you think would make up that word. This is Mustin. Yes. Um, I like playing football. You do? Oh, That's I love why football. I love football. I'm so happy Mustang. high school football is back. I get to watch my son play. Miss Mustin. Uh huh. Please. Oh, I'm trying to see who's talking to me. Oh, Fatima, was that you, honey? Here. What did you ask me? Do we need to close our book? Yeah, when you're finished, you can close your book and make sure you stretch out your fingers, stretch out your arms. This must be I'm done. All right, fantastic. The next book we're going to need is this. I know some of you are finishing. So if you didn't finish your writing, you can work on it this afternoon after your lesson with Miss Beloga. <clears throat> You're going to get out this green book with the blue spine. While you're finishing up, I'm going to start our counting song so you guys can get up and get moving. Is this it? Show me the blue. Yep, that's the one. You got it. Okay, watch me. Uh, hold on, we're going to play a song first, okay? Uh, all right. All right, let me get my um, share screen again. Remember, if you didn't finish your writing, you'll just finish up later during your independent time. You can get up and get moving. Whereas we count to 100. Every day, keep your mind and body in shape. Let's get fit, have some fun. Count to 100 by walking. Get ready to exercise and count. Stretch your arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch your legs. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Pump each arm up. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Do arm circles. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Shoulder shrugs. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Pump elbows back. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Do windmills. 
Did you get up and get your exercise and practice your counting? I know some of you, I already listened yeah. to you count when you came in to see me, and there were friends that already counted to 100. I could not believe it. That's so exciting. All right, so in our math, we've been working on finding things that are exactly the same and not exactly the same, okay? So today's lesson is going to be another lesson just like that. We're going to be experts at these things by the time we're done. Is Mustin, are we doing the, the thing now? Yep, I'm going to play the math lesson right now. Right now. Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. So we got to go on um, lesson five? Oh, we already No, nope, we're going to do lesson, lesson three. three today. Lesson three. All right, here we go. If you are looking for a resource that knows online learning, Michigan Online School has the experts you need. Now here we go. Hi friends, today's lesson is for Module 1, Lesson 3. Guess what? Today I'm going to tell you about one of my really good friends, Rachel. See, the thing about Rachel is I love spending time with her because she's so funny, she's super loud, she likes to do really adventurous things. And this R word is not really like that. I'm kind of shy. I like to do not so scary things. So when I'm around Rachel, she makes me feel real brave. All right? But it's like, how did we become friends? Well, we had something in common. We were connected in one thing. We were connected by our love of reading. See, when we became friends, we started talking about the things that we enjoy to do, and reading was number one on both of our lists. And that's what started our whole friendship. So we're connected by that, even though we're kind of different. And that goes along with our lesson for today. Because our learning goal said, I can describe how objects are connected. And sometimes you really have to think, hmm, how are those things connected? That's what we're going to do today. We're going to make some observations. Hey, folks, somebody's computer is not on mute, and we're getting some background noise during the lesson. I can't flip back to see who it is, but just make sure you double check your computer for me. Thank you. And then we're going to figure out how are they connected. Okay? Here we go. Okay. So uh, this morning I was getting dressed and I had my beautiful bows sitting on the counter. And I wanted a bow that was going to match my dress. Here's my fancy dress. Very nice. Now this bow over here is just plain red, which I like. I like the color red. This one is red, but with polka dots. And this dress, how would you describe the dress, friend? Polka dots. Also has polka dots, yeah. Out of those two bows, which one is going to go along with my dress the best, do you think? Ooh. Well, I chose the polka dot one. Is that what you chose? Yeah. They're connected by one thing. How are they the same, even though they're just a little different? Yeah, they both have polka dots on them. Hello? I couldn't get enough polka dots, I tell you what. So see, they're connected, even though they're a little different. The polka dots are different colors. But they're still polka dots. Cool. Thanks for helping me pick out that bow. All right, what about these triangles? I mean, this triangle standing up nice and tall, this one's kind of wonky. It's kind of like a lean into the side, but they do have something in common. Can you figure out what the what they have in common first? Well, they're both triangles. What else? 
Yeah, they both have stripes. Rainbow stripes, too. That's fancy. So even they're like a little different, I could put them in like a stripe category. All the stripey triangles on this side. Thursday schedule. Yeah, and that's something they have in common. That's how they're connected. Of the groups it's listed, listed for like a Okay, so what about this she soccer ball and net? Let's see. Do you see any well, stripes? Fine. Bring me your no. computer. Uh, polka dots? No, not on both of them. Why are these sitting here together? They're connected in some way, but I don't see anything that they're connected by. Do you? What? You use them together? How do you use a soccer ball and a net together? Yeah, if you kick the soccer ball, it lands in the net, and that's how you get a goal. So even though the soccer ball and the net don't look alike, if I think really hard, I could probably come up with a way that they're connected, right? Hey, good job. Oh, birthday cake. Ooh, I love a good birthday cake. Do you? What's your favorite flavor? Oh. Mine is chocolate all day. All right, so I see that it's a birthday party. So what else might show up, do you think? Oh, <laughs> the other best thing about birthdays, presents. Yeah. If you're really going to see a present by a cake, you're probably going to guess they go together because why? Yeah, normally, if you're going to celebrate a birthday, you're probably going to get presents. Awesome. See, that's something that mm, they kind of have similar colors too, I guess, but their shapes are different. They're different types of things, but they're still connected. We just had to think a little bit harder, right? Man, friends, you are rocking and rolling and figuring out how things are connected. Sometimes it's something we can see, and sometimes we have to think a little bit harder on it. So glad we did so well because our learning goal said, I can describe how objects are connected. Exactly what you're Good job, friend. Go ahead. All right, this is your exit ticket. In a video, I want you to send me a video telling me how are these two objects connected. Eleven one nine. Yep. What the do they button. have in common? Yes. I can't wait to hear what you come up with. All right, boys and girls. So you can see there's two hearts on there. They're the same because they're both hearts. They're the same because they both have that zigzag pattern. But they're not exactly the same because they are different sizes, right? Okay, so let me flip back here. Oh, oops. Capture. I don't want to leave the meeting. Okay. Miss Mustin. Miss Mustin. I'm going to go ahead and this. Miss Mustin. Yes, sweetheart. Are we supposed to go on the page that has free one? You know what? I'm going to hold it up right now and you can see if you beat me to the page. Okay? So if you open up this learn book, we call it, with the blue uh, spine here, you're going to open it up to the page that has two ones, number 11 at the bottom. It looks like this. And it's tricky because a lot of these pages look kind of alike. But this is the page we worked on yesterday, matching the animals. So you're going to turn to just the next page with this big box. It's page number 11. The book's open. This one. Page number one. 11. Lord and Marmy, how do you find a page when you're on the next page? How Tell me thumbs up when you have page 11. It has a one one. Right down in the bottom, there's a one one. All right, and here are the directions on this page. You're gonna draw me two circles, okay? I want them to be the same, but different colors. Okay, so that's kind of tricky because they're not gonna be exactly the same, right? So you're gonna draw me two circles that are the same size, but each is a different color. Hold on, sweetheart, I want everybody to stay on mute while I'm giving the directions, okay? So nobody misses a single word. Okay, two circles that are the same size, but different colors. Okay, so you pick any two colors you want, okay? And make them the same size, but two different colors. Uh, out of the crayon? Yep, you can use your crayon. Some people like to draw it with pencil and then color it in, that's fine too. Okay, pick one more color. Make them the same size, but different colors. And what's black? And I'll do an, an example in my book for you. So two and what's black? She said two circles. 
that are the same one. Okay. Make two circles the same size with your rings. Okay. I'm going to color them in. Make two circles the same size. How are you going to put two circles on there when you're making it that? Okay, and here you'll be able to see mine. I did one red and one blue. Same size, but different colors. Um, Mrs. Mustin, I did red and yellow. Excellent, thank you. The same size, but different colors. Good work. Miss Mustin, um, which color book I did red and blue. Red and blue, like me, okay. What color book um, are we supposed to do it in? This is in the blue spine, with the blue. Page 11 in the blue. Go see yours, Veda. Oh, wow. Nice job. Good job, Ryder. Nice job, Tony. Yes, Mustafa. Yes, Mustafa. Do you have two on there, Madison? Do you have two circles? I, I'm having a hard time seeing it. Nice job, Mira. Oh, Mustafa, you look, your screen looks frozen on my end. Ryder, let's not do that, friend. That looks dangerous. Thank you. Nice work. Okay, so usually when we're doing math, we do very quick draws. That'll, that, thank you, Ali. That'll be something that you'll get used to uh, the more we um, work in the math book. I always tell my class um, that in math, it's just quick draws. It's not quite the same as Writer's Workshop where we do use a lot of detail. Thank you, Leah. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you, Leah. Okay, next, you're gonna turn one more page. Okay, and it should bring you to a page that looks like this. This is Mustang, look at mine. Oh, thank you, Olivia. Thank you for showing me. Different color circles. Yeah, so you're gonna turn to this page. There's a spot at the top for your name and today's date code. Let me put that date code back up here for you. 9-10. Miss Mustin. Look at mine. Oh, I'm trying to see who's talking to me. Oh, thank you, Yazan. Okay, go ahead and turn the page and get today's date code up there. You write your name now, okay? Your name goes here and today's date code. You okay, Liliana? Yeah. Do you have your book? Thank you, Yazan. All right, so here's the directions on this page. We're gonna draw lines like we did yesterday. Today you're gonna to draw a line between the two objects that have the same pattern. So it might be stripes, it might be polka dots, it might be a design, a checkerboard, okay? So what design is this? It's stripes, right? So you're gonna draw to another object that has stripes. So take your pencil and you are gonna draw from the stripes to the stripes. Could you draw a line that looks like this? Draw from the stripes to the stripes. Thank you, Jacob. Good, let me see if you can do the rest of the patterns. Okay, so find the objects that have the same pattern. So polka dots to polka dots, uh, wavy design to wavy design, and checkerboard to checkerboard. Okay, see if you can do the last three pictures. I'm missing must and I did it in one second. Oh my goodness, that is fabulous. And then you're gonna see if your page matches mine. 
Oh, wow. Some of you really know how to make matches because it's going so quickly. Does your page match and mine? Then... Oh, Leah's giving me a thumbs up. Hers matches mine. Sarah, does your page match mine? Bradley, just so you know, I don't know if your family knows, but your video is off. So I'm not sure if, uh, as long as you can see me, it's, it's just fine. Um, but if you ever want to show me something back, your video is off. What do you think? All right. We are going to turn one more page. Watch this. You have work on the back of this paper. So see if you can find the next page that has this net, a soccer ball, and a basketball. And remember, if anybody's having troubles, all the meetings are recorded. You can just ask me for the playback if you want to rewatch something later. Oh, good. Good job, Maya. You got it right here. Okay. So now we're going to take our pencil and we're going to circle the objects that are related to the ones here. Who knows which ball goes with this net? Is it the soccer ball or the basketball? Soccer ball. Basketball. Yeah, it, it's actually the basketball. I already did the basketball. Yeah, go ahead and take a circle around the basketball. And the basketball thingy. Yeah, well, yep, yeah, that we'll just leave alone. Okay. You don't have <clears throat> uh, circle, uh, yeah, we'll just leave it alone. All right, next I have a bowl. And what goes with that? A spoon or a pencil? Yeah. A spoon goes with a bowl, right? Go ahead and circle the spoon. <clears throat> And the last one on this page is a paintbrush. Does that go with this paint palette or a toothbrush? A paint palette. Oh, already did the paint palette. Right. Yeah, we don't paint with a toothbrush, I hope. Nice job. So things that are the same, but not exactly the same. And we can group objects together. So here are your jobs for the afternoon, okay? Um, if you have an adult nearby, you might want to make sure that they're uh, listening. Okay, so we are going to break for lunch and then at 12.25, you are going to join your special today. Your special area that's pre-recorded today is art. Okay, go into your Schoology account and you're gonna click on where it says art and you will get to meet Mr. Goki. He is our art teacher and you'll do your lesson there. At 1.30, you are getting back on to Mrs. Beloga's Zoom. Parents, that's in that parent, um, the, the September weekly outline that we have for you in your child's Schoology. It's uh, hot linked right into there. It says Mrs. Beloga's Zoom. I don't know if it's the same Zoom that she uses for other things. So just use the hot link that I put in there. Okay. You are going to have a leadership lesson uh, that will be done in there. Okay. After your leadership lesson, I want you to take a snack and recess break. Okay, then you're going to do some independent work for the rest of the day. You're going to work off of the September choice board. And this is not in there because we didn't get a chance to finish it. I want you in your spiral to draw me four animals you like. Remember, we set up the page together. You're going to draw me four animals that you like. And yes, you may color these. This can be one of your choices, a work on writing choice from the choice board. Do we come along with the crayon too? You can, yes. Okay. So it is lunch and recess, special, so that's art, leadership Zoom with Miss Beloga, snack and recess, and then September choice board. And one of your choices is going to be to finish this chart in your book. And what are you drawing here? For what? For, for, animals. Animals. for animals. Yes, they're all going to be animals. Any animals that you like. 
Okay. Do you have any questions about how the afternoon is going to look? Do I, do I, do I have math homework? Yes. Thank you. That's also in the chart. In the red yeah, spine book. Like the red spine book. You're going to do the same page numbers. 11, 13, and 14, I believe, in the red spine book. It's just like what we just practiced. If you don't want to do that today or you think that's too much, do it tomorrow morning for wake-up work. It's like we did that like right now, but we're going to do another one tomorrow. No, you, do that uh, you can do it for wake-up work or you can do it this afternoon during your independent like, yeah. Okay, so it's speaking from personal experience, adults that are listening, this is the first time that uh, my kids have been actively trying to use my internet for their schoolwork and trying to navigate their classrooms versus independent work versus everything else. Space it out how it's gonna best fit in your day. That's gonna be my best advice. Um, my daughter was getting kicked out of one meeting. She missed another one because her teacher was trying to do small groups. The teacher said, just join into any group. So again, we're all just being flexible and uh, trying to figure it out. Again, everything's recorded. If you need to hop off, you know, because uh, someone isn't feeling well or it's just not working in your schedule, ask me for the recording, not a big deal. Uh, yeah. Hi, Riders family. Hi. Uh, at 1.30, um, that's a live Zoom, right? It is, yes. Okay. So she's actually going to do a leadership lesson today. Okay. Um, and yes, we're going to test that out on the live, see how it goes. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon. I will pop into that Zoom later. Oh, hi, Fatima's mom. Hi. I just have another question. For sure. those September activity that you want us to choose from, I can't find those. Where, where do you have them? It is in the Schoology uh, link for Fatima. Mm -hmm. It is linked under English Language Arts, ELA, so the reading okay. tab. And it should be um, in there either under updates or resources. The whole chart will pull up for you. Okay. Thank if you, you don't so see much. it, send me an email and I'll just send it to you separately. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, bye, you're welcome. Bye, All right. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful bye. 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 Hugs, hugs, hugs. Bye. Bye. You guys soon. Have a great lunch. Bye, Tanya. Bye, Jay. Bye. Mr. Mustin, what time do you want Jacob back on? Uh, Jacob is getting back on at 1.30 with Mrs. Beloga. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye, Mustin. Bye, Mustin. Bye, Talia. Bye. Bye. I'm asking if we have to hop in here again. You are going to um, get in your Schoology classroom. And you're going to click on art. And then at 1.30, you'll be back on Zoom with uh, Miss Baloga. So any more with you? Oh. I will be in her Zoom meeting, but no more through this link. Okay. Okay? All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Olivia. Bye, Olivia. Bye, Olivia. Bye, Olivia. Bye, 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 Bye,